Hello friends, welcome to my channel Go Digit. Today, in this video, we will learn about custom rule sets in Business Central. So, uh, as you know that uh, last week as well, uh, we have uh, we we learned about this uh, option, or you can say about uh, this Code Corp, UI Corp, Pertinent Extension Corp, App Source Corp, and Business Central Inter Corp. So we will uh, we have seen this uh, code analysis tools you can say through which uh, we can uh, while writing the extensions for uh, for our uh, customers we can make sure that we are writing or we are following all the uh, AL coding guidelines right so these cops basically helps us in writing the effective code now the thing is as soon as we add these uh, these uh, or enable these cops for our extension we will start getting these types of warnings information or sometimes error as well right and to make our code and our uh, extension more effective more uh, you can say that following all the guidelines we have to uh, make sure that we remove all these sorts of warnings and errors as much as we can right However, there are certain times when, uh, although uh, the warnings are all, always right, but it's just that you don't want it uh, to be shown in your in your particular extension. Or uh, let's say you, for example, this is coming as an information, but you want it as a warning. Or this is coming as a warning, you want it as an info. So vice versa. Also, you, you if you want to change the face, change the type of these this. Uh, these problems which are coming in your extension you can do that you can tweak that stuff as well so how to uh, deal with these warnings if you don't want to remove them uh, or how to handle these scenarios uh, to to sum up all these things there is a concept called uh, custom rule sets dot json file Right, so in all our extension of Business Central, if we want, we can create one more JSON file. There we will define our own rule sets, and based on those rule sets which we define on that file, system will uh, check uh, that which uh, or which of these problems uh, needs to be handled uh, accordingly. Right. So, for example, here we can see that uh, we are getting the warnings of different types like AAA 0215, LC 0002, 0021, and so on. Okay, so what best we can do is first of all, we will see two, three ways of doing this thing. So, uh, for example, what I can do is I can create one folder called custom rules. Okay, and here I can create one file called app dot rule set rule set dot json. Okay, so this is you can say the naming convention of this file is that first uh, should be the name of your file and then dot and then rule set dot json. This is something uh, which is uh, you can say you must have to add. And name you can uh, give anything okay so this is now the file the JSON type file we have created under this folder now what we have to do is we just have to use one snippet called T rule set so as soon as you uh, select that this type of a syntax comes with the picture because it's a JSON file okay now uh, I can provide the name like app based rule sets description all these custom rule set must be respected right now under this rules we have to define which type of uh, course you I would like to handle Okay, so for example, in our current project, I'm getting this type of warning AA0215 two times, right? AA0215, LC0002, and LC0021. So let's handle these two warnings here. So 
in the id portion what i can do is i can type a a 0 2 1 5 so you can see that it is suggesting me all the uh, all these uh, type of warning codes okay so i just have to select this and now action so in action there are different uh, ways of handling it so one is like error or hidden or info or none right so for example currently it is showing me as a warning but if i want that i should it should give me the error i have to handle it because if the warnings are coming in in your project that means uh, it will not stop you to uh, from publishing your extension to the environments right because warning is something which uh, you can uh, let it go as also sometimes however if you give it an error that means you cannot compile your extension so if you want that this uh, this type of warnings are very important uh, that you have to remove them and you don't want that any developer just uh, miss these things so you can set it as error so that they must have to handle it or like for example this is an info coming up you want it to be uh, to be as a warning so these type of changes you can do here or for example if i give it as none that i don't want any action and it should just remove okay it should not give us anything and justification is like any 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 reason you can give right based on so that if any person could read it could read this file any uh, next developer would like to read this file so they know that why any developer have uh, have uh, done this type of things for this warning okay now uh, let's say i want to add one more so i can again use the same sort of stuff and this time lc 002 i think right this this type of uh, warning was coming up yeah so i can add this one as well and then action also as none okay and then justification as any reason all right so now this is done i'm done with my file okay so this is what i wanted to handle in these two and based on like if you want to handle multiple things you can uh, very well add all those things uh, line by line okay but after even adding this file these warnings or all this stuff is still showing in the problem section so why so to handle this thing we have to open the let's say user settings okay so i'll open the user settings here and uh, type here code analyzer so here in the code analyzer you can see that already these type uh, these uh, cops i have already opened up and code analysis is true that's why i'm getting all these warnings which we have learned last week if you not watched that video you can watch that now to make or uh, to enable this json file which we have created uh, we have to provide uh, this parameter or add this parameter in my settings file so which is called al dot rule set path here it's just that i have to provide the path where my file is placed okay and then everything will be sorted okay so uh, for example if i just have to provide the path then under my root folder there's a there's a folder called custom rules and then there's a file called app dot rule set dot json okay so this is the path of my file from where the extension will read all my custom rule sets and then apply them into my current project okay just save it and now you see as soon as i save it all those uh, two warnings which was coming up which were actually coming up uh, in my extension are gone now okay now let's uh, go back here again and this time let's say for uh, lc0002 i want it as an error it should show me as an error so i can type here error control s and you can see this immediately i'm getting this as an error and now i cannot save my extension 
Okay, now get it back again. None and see it's gone. So even though you have enabled all the uh, all the standard code cop rules uh, uh, in your extension, but in case you want to handle it uh, based on different uh, your company rules, then uh, you can always handle them via the custom rules dot json. So this is one of the way to handle these stuff. Now let's see the second way. For example, uh, there are other files as well which or other rule sets as well which you want to handle okay and uh, then on how to add multiple rules or how to add the second file or second rule set which is uh, already been there and you want to add those rules as well so for that thing we have one option called here included rule sets okay so here in the included rule sets if you see here we have two parameters which we can add one is the action and this is like options same options are coming up but it's better that we should select default here default means that uh, whatever uh, actions are defined in that particular rule set file i want that should be applied okay and then the path okay so for example here uh, i can do one more thing is that uh, i want to add one more file let's say company dot rule set dot json okay t rule set test and then now i will handle this other one in lc0021 so what i will do is i will type here lc0021 lc0021 okay and it should show me also as none control s and now go back here and provide the path which is called company dot rule set dot json right control s and now you see that warning is also gone and now there is no problem in my particular project so this is also one of the way that in your existing rule set file if you want to add other rule sets you can always do the same right let's see the third way of handling it people might raise this question that if i already have this rule set file why should i create a second rule set file and then add it as a included rule sets that's perfectly a valid question so obviously i don't need this so what i can do is i can delete this and here The concept of included rule set means that maybe the rule set file is not available in your local system or may be available somewhere else okay in a in a in, in some uh, in some other uh, sharepoint kind of a folder or in your github repository okay there uh, all the common standard rules which your company follows are already placed place there and you just want to add them as well in your extension along with your custom rules for a particular extension so how to add those things so for example uh, this is my github account and here i have created two repository one is the public repository and second one is the private repository although things are quite same here for example if you see this private repository json file here also i have added uh, one uh, kind of a rule set of this particular lc0021 only okay and in this public repository also i have added one json file of rule set in which i have added multiple sorts of warnings okay so the thing is if i want that these rules which are available in this github should apply to my extension okay so what i can do is that i just have to click on this 
raw button okay and now when you click on this raw button it will give you a, a particular url okay and you can see here that it this type of a data is coming up and if it is a public repository it will be available by accessing this url to every user so i just have to copy this url and place it here and what i can do is that i can add this url inside the path so which means that in this particular rule set i want to include the rule sets which are available in my public repository okay and as soon as you save it you can see that there is no warning as such coming up right for example here uh, 80215 is showing up and i think uh, yeah i have already added this so that means i even don't need uh, these two as well here but if i remove this also from here and save it then also you can see that there is no problem coming up here because now that 215 code is also handled by this particular file which is available here okay so this is the use case of this included rule set uh, parameter in this particular rule set file that i want to add my own rules along with the default rules which are, are uh, which as, which comes as a standard for your company okay so this is the one of the way but now the final way is that why should i add this file in my extension when i have this right concept out there that i can place a common file in my public repository and then all the developers of my organization must have to adhere to all those rules right so rather than every developer uh, in his own local system create or uh, in his own extension always create this rule set file manually and add it add them in your extension no need at all okay so what i can do is i can delete this i can delete this folder as well okay and now if you see i have come here in the settings file settings.json here as you can see that we have this parameter called al.rulesetpath okay so i just have to provide the path or the url here only right so which means that now in my settings system my extension always check the rule sets which are defined in this url and apply them in my particular extension okay but because these are external rule sets okay uh, if i let's say reload my window so i have added an external url in my this particular extension okay or in my user settings so that it will be apply to not only this extension but if any other extension i will add it so it will apply all those rules here but along with that i can enable this enable external rule sets by default it is true right so which means that because this is an external rule set and hence a uh, system should not look for the rule sets in my custom extension but it should look for the rule sets defined externally right so when you add these two parameters and define the url here you no need there is no need to add those custom rule set.json file in your every extension however depending on the need as i mentioned always that uh, this custom rule sets the best advantage of having this is only that it can be changeable on app to app basis right because every app 
needs different types of needs or requirements and so that you want to handle certain warnings there or you don't want to handle every warning there so for all these scenarios uh, these are the multiple ways through which you can uh, utilize this custom roof sets uh, concept in your al extensions right so that's it in my today's video i hope you like it if you if you like it please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video